weeks, I am going to be trying to make the videos a little bit shorter, like below 10 minutes, because I do find myself a little bit busy with school. Today, I have something a little bit more interesting planned than perhaps Crystal Caverns. So I'm actually going to be doing some survey questions and then checking out the arena to see what Prodigy has done because you don't know which season this is in. I'm sure they've changed the arena like a lot, a lot of times, but I haven't checked anything out. I don't know if they implemented any sort of extra features into the battles because I know wizards, they can exploit the game by going to a different tab and then just going AFK and then, you know, the other your opponent's gonna get a little bit, like, you know, impatient and probably just close the game. And then you just get your free, like, you just get your free points. Um, let's start off with the survey questions. Um, it's supposed to say a question for you, but I have five questions. So, I'm pretty sure maybe it's because I kind of quit for a long time, so I don't really know. Um, there might be some questions I didn't answer before in the past, so... Um, I like spending time in Prodigy, so... Hmm, you know, this is a tough question because for me personally, I'm a little bit old for this game. Um, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. I play this game uh, mostly for YouTube, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But that doesn't mean I, that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it when, when I'm playing it. So, uh, I'm just gonna say neither true nor untrue. So, next question. Now remember, this this is live play, unlike my last video, which was pre-recorded. So, I, I'm completely new to this too. Uh, I like Prodigy better than any other math programs. Actually, this is this is hard because Prodigy, between Prodigy and Khan Academy, they're both really good math programs. I don't know any others. I, I wouldn't say, I think in terms of fun, in terms of fun, Prodigy is definitely a lot more fun but in terms of actually teaching you how to do math, I'm pretty sure Khan Academy does that better. And there could be a lot of others, a lot of other like programs too, but uh, I'm just gonna say somewhat true, somewhat true. Um, Prodigy makes learning math fun. Ye I mean, I, I mean, maybe, I mean, like it does, it adds game concepts, right? It makes it fun, but people get driven away by the game which kind of ruins like they don't they don't really focus on the math that's what i mean like they, they're focusing on how to beat the game not how to do the math like that's what, well for me personally when i'm playing this game i don't really think about the math too much i think of the math as like second priority it's just like a side part of the game itself so i i, I want to say it's somewhat true um uh, i mean if if you actually do this for school i'm pretty sure you probably have to do these right um but if you're playing it just for fun uh, I don't think math really, like, it's not really <laughs> the main focus players go for this game. Um, Prodigy helps me learn math. This is kind of the same thing as la last question. In a way, it's true. It can help you learn math, but in, you, in, in your sense, some people don't really care. Like, some people just grab out a calculator. Some people grab a Google. They just Google the answers and stuff. Um, so I'm going to say... This is somewhat true. I'm sure a lot of people still gain a little bit of knowledge from math, from Prodigy math, but I don't think, I don't think it's that much. Um, I like solving math problems in Prodigy. Now this, this is very like, cause there are a lot of math problems in Prodigy. Some of them I like solving, some of them I don't like solving. And also it depends how long it is, what, what type of question. Some of them are just kind of hard and you just kind of get like bored of it. <laughs> you don't really want to do it, but that's a different story. Um, I want to say this is somewhat true. Again, most of my answers are somewhat true. They're not perfect, but they're getting there. Like, I like doing the math questions. Some of them are a little too long. I think some of them take way too long. But for the ones that take like a minute, those are pretty good math questions. I think I think they're good. Um, but lots of times there are word problems and I really hate them because you have to read them, use logic, do a lot of calculations. That itself takes like five minutes and your opponent's probably waiting there like being like, well, why the heck is this guy so slow? So somewhat true. Um, let's see what we get. We get one pizza. It's always pizza, but it's a food. And as I said in my last video, foods are really useful. So uh, let's see how much it actually heals. I don't know. Um, I've never really checked it out before. I know salads heal 50%. Um, cake heals a lot. Chicken. How much does chicken heal? 75. They're both 75. Where's pizza though? I just skipped it. 
I have 16. Oh my god, 75. Yo, pizza is actually really good. Um, but now on to the next part of the video. We're gonna be checking out the arena here. As you see, I am already on this page. Um it seems like they are selling new gear season prizes. Oh um in the first in the first season they kind of had leagues, so you can like you go to a certain amount of trophies, you gain the ability to unlock some, you know, armor, and then you get to the next league and you gain some more. Um, of course, I have all of those because I was pretty a heavy grinder in 2017. Not much anymore, but uh, they they sold you the. Hmm, I, th I think I remember them. Uh, one of them was super overhyped. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, so the <laughs> this one I I, I can't, probably can't pronounce this. Draconic's helm. Um, this one was so overhyped. Honestly, I, I prefer the ghastly hood so much. I think this used to be an epic too, but this one just, it just looks so much cooler. Um, heart bonus 6, heart bonus 8. This one's definitely better for you in battle. But again, uh, this one, heart bonus 8. It's enough. It's enough. And I have a lot of, I have a lot of, I have like a lot of, uh, you know, foods, potions I can use. So most, this is definitely the best one in, in the first season the best uh armor in my opinion um this is the second best third best of course goes by rarity pretty obvious but let's go ahead and go to the arena call right here i want to see if they change anything in the battle so are you ready to take part in the arena face the toughest wizards around the world and work your way to the top uh yes let's let's do that badges hmm okay 35 can i connect can i collect anything i can't collect anything yeah, see these, these, um, they're not really that accurate. I don't I'm not sure. But from what I can see before, when people cheat about this, they exploit the game. These may not be accurate, so. Uh, but let's just find someone, you know. Oh, that was pretty fast. Definitely much faster than it was in 2017. Uh, and let's get to this battle. Man, this guy really does take a long time to do his questions. See, this is this is part of the survey, right? Do questions are questions good and like are the questions in Prodigy good? Uh, this guy, I'm not, I'm not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's just AFK, but like if he's doing the question, because I I've seen those questions before, they take way too long. Like they're taking like several minutes. All right, like those questions are too long for a game. All right, no one's gonna sit there for seven minutes to do to do one one attack in one battle so that's why i didn't really give it perfect because uh, this guy's a perfect example uh maybe he's gonna leave you know because some people they just prodigy you know you never know what's gonna happen um when they're afk for a certain amount of time they just leave so and then you just get the free trophies just want to see the implemented in anything different um because from season one like from 2017 that did not exist if they left you won everything and nothing was done about AFK players, so... Alright, so we are reaching the final attack here, the final, you know, trade-off of attacks. 
It seems it is a tie, which I don't think I've even tied in arena before, but both of us played this battle very legitimately, so it was a draw. Let's see how much we get. Um, plus 50. How much do you get when you win? It was a plus 100. Man, I forgot. It was like, it was like 100 or 110. I honestly forgot, but 50 arena points, better than losing any. Um, we tied, of course. We were pretty close up in levels, so it, it's not really a surprise. Um, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I know I said I wanted this video to be a little bit shorter than usual, um, but it ended up being like what the runtime's like 17 minutes now. Um, so if you guys see this video not come up before um, Thursday, then you, you know why. Uh, I spent a little bit too much time editing this video, but. Anyways, still hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.